Aster Command Ascension Process. Aster Command Dear Ones, this is an alert from Aster Command. We are approaching a time of difficulty because of the planetary adjustment that will take place with the process of disclosure. The Earth has entered a most dense area of the ring of light that is called a photon belt, and the entire solar system is being buffeted by electromagnetic waves. These waves are instrumental to the Great Awakening as the photonic light and gamma rays of these electromagnetic surges are stripping the psyche of mankind of negative elements in much the same way as the circles and swords of blue flame of Archangel Michael, as well as of the Elohim Hercules and Astria. We are referring to intrinsic characters in the persona that have been created by the self in the process of using the light of God, but which represents an affluence or contamination. At every moment the self makes a choice to use this power in the right way or not. You either qualify the light as you use it, or misqualify it, as you live your lives. Due to the descent into the third dimension of duality, billions of souls have created an ego that has a life of its own and occupies the psyche, the subconscious and conscious minds of the person in incarnation. Their intrinsic values and qualities have been perverted. You know of the tool you can use to obtain a purification of your psyche. We are referring to the call to Archangel Michael, or the Elohim, to strip you of elements, such as doubts and fears, and also of all the perversions of the qualities of the Divine Mother Father. You know of the purification of the aura and chakras that are instruments or chalices for the reception of Divine Light as well. You can recreate yourselves in the image of the Christ Consciousness that is your blueprint and that is descending. This is a basic understanding to have to appreciate the changes taking place due to the presence of the solar system and the Earth in the ring of photonic light which is about 10 times larger in size than the galaxy of the Milky Way in which you exist. However, it extends over and below the galaxy as a vertical loop, so the edges of the galaxy are not continuously in this photonic ring. As the galaxy moves in space the extremities of its edges remain outside of this ring for thousands of years and then cross it again. This is indeed Ashtar Command. This transmission is from a unit of communication. With regard to how large this photon belt is, it is ten times larger than the solar system. It is a body of light that transcends the human nature. As stated before it contains electromagnetic energies and its gamma rays are irradiating all of Earth at the moment. Its particles have a stripping effect upon the accumulated substances that constitute a densification of the light in the human body, and even in the planetary body. This has occurred by the wrong use of the light of God over many decades and thousands of years. The light substances strip the psyche from its negative elements and therefore convert the ego, or transcend it. The process frees the psyche of mankind from all perversions and darkness and the terminology that we have in place controls its effects by diffusing the particles and ensuring the absorption of light is progressive and positive. Too much at any time could have a destructive effect. This process is causing the awakening and raising you to higher levels of vibration, of spirituality, of love, and it is enlarging your capacity for understanding. You are able to download in your mind light codes which you translate into information and knowledge. You have been born in bodies with a DNA that has been handed down by your parents and ancestors. Going back many thousands of years in history the Anunnaki did perform some modifications to mankind's DNA to keep mankind ignorant of its identity and its function. In other words ignorant of all of the meanings of life. For instance, the purpose of the material world and of physicality. The innate abilities of physical angels, those abilities that were possessed originally, or before the planetary takeover about 400,000 years ago, after the Galactic Federation regained control of the solar system about a million years ago. This was after the destruction of the planet Maldek and an era of decadence in the solar system due to the presence of the reptilian forces of darkness. The creation of Maldek some millions of years, before that, was for a project of physicality which will now be completed in a golden age after the Earth, or Gaia has been risen to a higher level of frequency vibration. This is dependent upon the vibrational level of its inhabitants, of their perception of reality which in turn affects their own reality and density. This messenger is not trained in science and we are using the terms that she is familiar with. We will not explore the technical aspect of resonance and hurts deeply but will give you some details about this subject. 
the resonance that is occurring in respect of mankind corresponds to the level of consciousness, or refinement, in terms of civilization or you could call it the level of righteousness or spirituality. It is to do with the psyche, the soul, or self, and it will be able to move upon the etheric realm out of the body when the individual goes to sleep, if its resonance is high. After death the self is not always freed from the will of reincarnation because it has not been freed from its negative traits. Light is always necessary to balance karma. Many souls have been able to ascend after death for they are righteous, and accomplishing this out of the body is an easier task. The ascension could take place after re-education in the schools of the etheric realms, even decades after the passing over. At this time many souls who have ascended have returned into embodiment to take part in the ascension of earth in its physicality and density. This is the great project of the age. The plan to raise the earth as well as the entire solar system, and beyond, is being implemented as the manifestation of the divine will of Almighty God and has been in the work since time immemorial. A prophecy, such as the one Archangel Michael made known to the galaxy more than 25 million years ago, was a statement of his knowledge of the will of God which he brought down to the levels of physicality for its manifestation. It was revealed to both the forces of the light and of darkness. He didn't reveal which planetary system and which planet would play a key role in the unfoldment of events in the last days, before all life would be lifted up to a higher octave, or dimension, in a golden age. Then physicality would be used as originally intended. By seeking to interfere with this plan the forces of darkness were affected by the vision that they held without realizing it. Earth was to play a key role in the manifestation of the divine will and we are close to the goal because the planetary body is being swept by a flux of energy that has impacted the solar system on March 20, 2016. Today, on March 22, this stream of light has gone round the world for the second time. The energies enter through the sun and are diffused through cosmic channels through the planet Venus, through the Lord Senet Kumara and the logos of Earth, as well as the other usual channels of consciousness. Technology is aiding to soften and distribute their impact. All of the material world is being irradiated at the moment and the light is helping the elemental kingdom as well. The prayers and calls, that the light workers make, help the absorption of light. It is beneficial to raise the consciousness, spirituality and resonance at which forms vibrate, the calls permit the angelic kingdom to intervene where necessary. The technology of the blue avians who are higher dimensional, as well as technologically advanced beings, is helping to filter the highly charged electromagnetic particles and gamma rays of the photon belt. An example is the biospheres now observed near the sun, or in the sky, where there were none decades ago. The peak of energies encountered on March 20th had been called a wave but in the sense that a group of souls ready to take in this light have had their resonance affected by it and have been elevated to a higher level upon the ladder of the dimensions, or consciousness. The souls which were able to take part in the same process with the influence of the peak of energies on September 28th of last year, because they were ready for it, are being taken even higher with this second surge of electromagnetic light substance. They are at the top of the pyramid of the light workers which symbolically represents the body of God on earth. They are the woman in heaven who gives birth to Christ consciousness, the man-child of the book of Revelation, and at the same time those souls are the bride of Christ, a collective. They are being wedded in that garment of bright light, or that golden and solar garment, and they walk upon the rainbow bridge of the rays of God, and become that path. Their system of chakras is being worked on. Many souls are increasingly becoming able to enter into telepathic communication and will, at one time, be contacted by their higher selves, or ascended masters. However, the dragon that is waiting to devour that man-child which the woman is giving birth to, that dragon is what remain of the forces of the dark that have controlled mankind. They are the Illuminati and Cabal with their astral counterparts and overlords, though a work of clearing those has been taking place for decades as mentioned in the video Vials of Karma. The removal of some among Biblical and mythological Luciferian characters has taken place. The souls of the first wave at the top of the pyramid of mankind are on their way towards the sixth dimension. They are now firmly physically upon the fifth dimension. In meditation, telepathic communication, or attunement, they can reach the twelfth dimension but in consciousness. 
the second wave of souls that have been affected by the currents of these electromagnetic energies of light and gamma rays have now passed through the hole of the needle and entered the fifth dimension. The other souls below them are traversing the fourth dimension and beginning to be affected in the way their more vibrant brothers and sisters were in about the years 2012 to 2014. The process was harder for the first wave and they took longer to achieve their status. The second wave is going to achieve the same at a faster pace. Then the first and second waves of souls will join together to help the rest of mankind accomplish the same transformations in a third wave. What the first wave's experience is shared through a field because of their interconnectedness. The second wave will have awakened and feel compelled to share their new vision. When you achieve ascension, you open the way and it was Jesus Christ who opened it 2000 years ago, not by dying on a cross, but by resurrecting from the human consciousness. He integrated with Christ consciousness and was then called the Christ but this has been lost in time. You are opening the way then can declare I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. Because of the ascension darkness will be consumed. It will be transmuted because you are transcending it. Because of the ascension and the intensification of the light anything that is less than Christ consciousness will disappear. Understand that the process is being slowed down by technology because, if it happened as nature intended by the sheer fact that the solar system is traversing this dense substance of photonic light, the stripping of the psyche would be painful. In order to ascend you need to have magnetized light because if you are filled with a great percentage of darkness, when it is stripped from you, there is not much left of you. This is why the Dark Lords wanted to leave the solar system. It is by mercy, however, that the Almighty is providing all manners of interventions to save as many souls as possible. The suppression of truth cannot endure in this light and the process of ascension. A great change is taking place in the psyche of the individuals who work in the media and who work as journalists. It is through their eyes that you perceive the world, is it not? They are some who call themselves investigative journalists and who reject control. They do not tolerate being told what to report. They choose the way of their conscience. They are in many cases, incarnations of galactic beings. They are star seeds. They are recovering the memory of who they are. They care about what is right and are in alignment with the Defender of Truth, Archangel Michael. They cut through the falsities of the propaganda. Some schemes fade away because of the violet flame that erases the causes and cores of all problems, whether personal or global. And so the world is progressing fast. A great part of the physical chaos and turmoil is caused by the awakening and the demand for change. Changes are enormous if you look into yourselves with whatever method of introspection you can use. Your capacity for understanding what is happening has greatly increased. I started with the mention of a coming time of difficulty in planetary adjustment. You now have the background to understand that there still is a movement of opposition to the plan of ascension that is the result of a lack of alignment with the divine will. It is born of erroneous concepts, an antichrist philosophy and materialism, and all that represents the delusion that are holding the powers that would be in the grip of an ancient indoctrination. Those at the top of their pyramid of control have made their move like in a game of chess, to go ahead with a scheme designed long ago. They have tried various tactics to create a global conflict and weaponized space. They did not understand that the process of ascension is a cosmic one and that it is also affecting the planetary bodies of the solar system. They discovered that they could not leave Earth, nor run away with their secret technology and spacecraft. They would love to declare ownership of the solar system. They intended to use their holographic technology to stage an alien invasion such as the one of Independence Day or the War of the Worlds. They are being kept under surveillance of the Galactic Federation of Light and Astra Command which would not allow it. The planetary adjustment due is at of disclosure although it is already taking place, as it will be intensified. It will be a difficult time even for the light workers who have acquired so much knowledge in the alternative field because what will be exposed is more than what you already know. All you know is the surface of the iceberg of that suppression of truth. Disclosure will cause problems. There will be a need for direction. Waves of souls will become teachers and your destinies will unfold. You will recover memory of who you are and your mission will become clear. 
Together we will approach a time when you will be taken to the light chambers for the healing of your physical bodies, as well as turning the clock back of their atoms. You will increasingly be able to heal yourselves and increase your vitality even before the gradual introduction in society of our presence. In the meantime you have been taken to the light chambers out of the body and the effects of their irradiation eventually manifest physically. The irradiations from the photon belt are presently causing you some fatigue so it will be important for you to sleep the hours that you need and look after yourselves well. Spread the word. Following this high peak of electromagnetic and gamma waves you will be integrating the energies and create even more changes. There may be difficulties ahead but overall it should be an interesting time with a great amount of discernment taking place. You will discover that your capacity for understanding has increased. Many events will occur as a result of disclosure. I am speaking on behalf of Esther Command, and of the Liaison Team, channeling this message for your information. We are guarding you, teaching you, we have at our side the Masters and Archangels you are familiar with. The Earth will be in physicality, but a lighter one, and you are being restored so that you will be able to function upon higher dimensions in full consciousness in the same way that you do upon the physical plane of expression. It is to do with the descent of the quantum DNA together with the light body and Christ consciousness. A great work will be done to remove the pollution of the elements and this will mainly be done when we can move more freely upon the world. The oceans will then become a more suitable environment for the whales, cetaceans and all species which will inhabit them. The media is reporting the death of these species and people are identifying the causes, such as pollution of the seas with plastic, overfishing, chemical trails, sonar experiments, radioactivity, underwater volcanic activity. Their extinction is contributing to the awakening of many people, as it is plain to see, and they are upset. We are coming close to a time when the world will be even more shaken up than it is today. However some replacement in power, in just a few months from now, will also create a more favorable climate for disclosure. We can see that victory is very close and we rejoice. A new perception of reality of the whole situation upon earth is being received. Enlightenment is also playing a part in the whole process, and you will be looking forward to the progress of the third wave when the energies peak at the end of the year. I will now leave you with this new information and with gratitude for your greater understanding of the way the human nature is being transcended, as well as for the service of our associates who are involved with the publishing of our messages. Keep your eyes on the skies and the stars because we are there above you watching you. We keep an eye on you. This was Ashtar Command, we are your galactic brothers and sisters and we love you, Namaste.